furniture designer maker based out of New England. And in a lot of ways, I feel like each day is an adventure. I spend a lot of my time looking for the right material, the right methodology, and really the right culture of making for each of my ideas. Now, this really hands-on research and, and, and hands-on design is counterbalanced with research that's, that's purely aesthetic. Uh, I'm looking into both, um, or looking for forces of nature and culture that I think express beauty and power. And I'm using a method of abstraction to build designs that you can interact with. Um, I love seating because of the intimacy of that interaction. Um, but I'm building these designs and, and uh, really existing as a balance and counterbalance to industry. Anything goes as far as what method I use, uh, historical or contemporary, um, modern, uh, as long as it's headed straight towards the, the, the pieces idea. And I'm this, this, uh, this piece right here is a milled aluminum tuffet that I'm working on right now. One of the exciting things about making and a hands-on sense of design is that often I'll be pursuing a particular idea and I'll uncover an entire culture of people who are interested in that idea, which, which ends up not only influencing the way in which I'm making the, the pieces, but also the aesthetic or design of the piece itself. When I started to discover auto body paints, I found that as I was researching how hot rods are made, my pieces started looking a whole lot more like hot rods. Now this is, uh, this is an, an attention to, to detail that is very important because for me, one of the wonderful things about furniture, again, um, especially seating, is its intimacy. And because of that intimacy, you really have the ability to seduce, um, which it, I'm trying to do in absolutely every single piece. Now, uh, that requires, again, a, a, a really intense level of detail. Each each uh, inch of the piece, I often <laughs> joke, is is needs to be touched at least a dozen times, and and that's that's really not an exaggeration. I'm I'm grinding right here on the surface of one of the concrete pieces that's part of the infrastructure series. This is a and and, and that that attention to surface um, and tactility is just as important as the the visual silhouette, which is very important to the design and, and that and that original impact that you have visually uh, it, but you know it's it's unimportant if it's not supported in in the the physical interaction now the the first time i started using paints in my pieces was with this piece which is called winded orange and it was almost accidental but uh, the best accident ever because it changed changed the way I looked at material completely. Material, I was a metal worker for a number of years and m metal was never to be painted. That was a, a form of sacrilege <laughs> in my mind. But once I had painted it and realized that there was, there was uh, so many opportunities to tap into ways that I that metal had been used that wasn't necessarily a traditional uh, blacksmithing technique, which I'd, I'd worked as a blacksmith for a couple of years before before going to grad school and sort of blowing my mind open with <laughs> contemporary design. That uh, that really, you know, that that eye opening uh, can never be can never be shut down. Now this is uh, Slither Walk Fly, which is in the exhibition, and it's based in that same method of abstraction. And mostly what it's abstracting is movement itself, as reflected in the title, Slither Walk Fly. 
and it's really you're in a seat that has a set of tail feathers that's unraveling slithering walking and flying away from you which uh hopefully is as fun as it is um slightly intimidating um i'm super unbelievably excited to be in the exhibition and really glad to give you a little a little taste of what goes on in the studio and of my method if you'd like to hear any more see any more make sure to visit vivianbeard.com thanks <laughs>